Hello, everyone. Today I wanted to take you grocery shopping with me. So come along as I fill my cart with lots of healthy food. Basically, I like to eat in a way that's going to nourish my body. So here are all the items that I like to buy. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to take you grocery shopping with me and usually I budget for $50 a week which would mean $100 for two weeks and today I am going to buy a lot so that I don't have to keep going to the grocery store. First of all, I'm going to need a cart so I need to make sure I disinfect it. Usually I go in with a basket so I don't overbuy things but today I wanted to show you everything. So we are at Whole Foods. Typically I like to go to either Trader Joe's or Whole Foods but honestly you can find everything at any market. Okay, so I'm going to need some bell peppers and we'll throw that into my bag. I'm just gonna buy a whole broccoli actually, that's easier. Ooh, I need a sweet onion. Green apples are some of my favorite because they're really good in juicing things or making smoothies. So we're gonna buy, I already have some at home, so I can just buy one more. Ooh, so opal apples are my absolute favorite. They are so sweet and they are so delicious. But I already have some at home too. Organic carrots. You look really big, let's go with you. <gasps> Wait, these are the best. We're gonna get some of these too. <laughs> In terms of vegetables, I always try to have a variety of them, or at least as much as possible. <gasps> My favorite sauce is Rao's homemade pasta sauce, and it is amazing. Actually, let's go with marinara. Yay, my favorite, 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 and it's on sale, awesome. Okay, so you go in here. So pretty much when I'm shopping, I'm looking for food that's going to nourish my body so I don't feel like I have to eat a lot of snacks because I'm already full from my food. Alrighty, so I need some gluten-free tortillas and these are my favorite. They are so good for being gluten-free. Like I can't even tell that they're gluten-free, which is always a plus. Pretty much I found what foods make me feel good and what foods don't make me feel good. And I'm not talking about feeling guilty. I'm talking about, you know, after I eat it, I feel really bloated, I feel really tired, and I have food coma. Those are all signs that your body is exhausted from digesting that food. And so for me, I like to eat food that, you know, energizes me, especially after I eat it. Okay, so we're gonna go with my favorite oat milk, which is Oatly. Their container is just so cute. So, so good. Ah, in you go. Got my pineapple chunks over here. In you go. And I think I also want to get some gluten-free pizza crust, except these are already, these already have cheese. Aha, the naked pizza crust. Naked pizza crust with almond flour. You come with me. In you go. So I like to eat a lot of Asian food, which then consists, of course, of a lot of rice and side dishes, which just means that's already gluten-free. But life is certainly about balance, so I am okay with eating certain foods that may not be so good for me, and I enjoy it, and that's okay, but not all the time. Ooh, I need some coconut water. Coconut water. And I need chicken breast. <gasps> and they're on sale. Oh my goodness, they're on sale. Chicken breast on sale. I am going to get two. Wait, are they really on sale? Air chilled organic bowl of chicken breast. Yes, that is you. So we're gonna go with these two. One that's regular salted. How much salt is in this? 510. 110. Eh, okay, we'll go half and half. I always go to the store with a grocery list so that I make sure I only buy the food that I've thought about. I need some beans. Would you like some help? I encountered a lady who was having a hard time getting what she needed, but thankfully I was tall enough to grab it for her. And then I grabbed some cannelli beans that I'm going to put in my soup. Oh, I need some egg noodles. So I'm basically going to make, oh, it is sunny. Okay, wow. Oh, so I'm going to make some 
some chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup, with chili verde soup, and then some gluten-free pizza. Where are the egg noodles? Ah, these are not gluten-free. So again, there are moments where I don't need gluten-free and that's okay. So extra wide noodles. Okay, I need salsa verde eggs and then we are done. Uh, there needs to be an app to be able to find all these things really quickly. I think this is why people like to online shop because you don't have to look for things. You just search it and find it and it comes to your door. <laughs> I know where the eggs are. Do I? Do I know? Oh, I passed them. Coming back, coming back. These are literally the best eggs you could ever get. Pasture raised vital farm eggs are the best eggs without a doubt. We're gonna get some ground beef. I just kept the 85% lean because it is the cheapest. <laughs> As you can see, this is how I shop. And I go down here. It's so weird. Then it was finally time for me to check out with this giant cart of food. Again, this is going to last me about two weeks or so. So here is everything I bought from the grocery store and I've kind of placed it where I can tell you what I plan to do with it. So I really like to cook in a way where I can get ingredients and then make multiple meals out of whatever I got. That way it just lasts a lot longer. So this pizza can probably last me for two meals and I'm going to put the marinara and of course I don't need all of it, just about half. I'm gonna add bell pepper peppers to it and then the sausage. Then I also am going to make some chicken noodle soup with my extra wide noodles, celery, carrots, and then with the extra noodles, you can then make some pasta with the remainder of this and the ground beef. I'm also going to make some chicken chili verde soup. So I have some chicken breast here, the chicken broth, and for that. And then of course, you can use the other chicken for the chicken noodle soup. Broccoli, I like to always have hand and bok choy as well. If I ever need vegetables, I'll always have something in the fridge. And then this is for when I make juice in the morning with my coconut or my smoothies with my oat milk. And then with the tortilla, I'm actually going to make breakfast burritos with some eggs, the remainder of the sausage, bell peppers if I wanna use half, and anything else that I have in my fridge. These sumo tangerines are literally the best tangerine. They look like little sumo men, but they are so sweet and so good. So first I started off with a green smoothie. I added some coconut water, apples, banana, and pineapple, and of course some spinach. Don't worry friends, I will be sharing a seven smoothie recipe video very soon so make sure you click that subscribe button and be notified when it comes out for my soup i just put some cold water and put the two chicken breasts on high heat and it's just going to boil in there After adding all of my seasoning, I then saute everything together and once it's caramelized and browned, we're going to add all of the salsa verde. Yes, the whole thing. This was 12 ounces, but 16 ounces works too. Then I empty out the liquid from the cannelli beans and add it to the pot. Then we're going to add 32 ounces of the chicken broth. And my chicken is still boiling. Shredded chicken, just throw it in there. Then I let it all boil together for about 30 minutes. And then I use the Siete tortilla chips and we are good to go. Mm. So with all of these, uh, it should last me about two weeks, but of course at home I also have rice, I also have Korean side dishes, and I also keep food in the freezer. So if I ever can't finish anything, I put it in the freezer and then I'll just microwave it so it's like a frozen meal that I cooked. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye!